And when you think of the Salvation Army, there's a pretty good chance the first things that comes to your mind are the bell ringers around the holidays. Yeah. But that's just one of the many things that the organization does to help people in need in communities all across America. And right now, it's actually National Salvation Army Week. So here to tell us more are uh, we've got the Divisional Secretary for Business Administration, Major, Major Michael Lero. He brought the Salvation Army's mascot also. Shieldy! Yeah, Shieldy! Hello, Shieldy! Shieldy. <laughs> You're trying to trump the penguins, aren't you, Shieldy? <laughs> I love it. It's an exciting day. Penguins and Shieldy. Yes. It's really thank, exciting. No, seriously, thank you for being here because um, tell us a little bit. We often do think of the bell ringing, yeah. but this is specifically we want to talk about National Salvation Army Week and how all of us at home can yeah. help. Yeah, thanks so much and thanks for having us. My and, pleasure. Uh, and so, yeah, National Salvation Army Week is a time where we really, um, really take advantage of an opportunity just to say thank you. Mm. We have so many volunteers that really help make what we do possible mm. and they support us all all year round so this is a week that not only do we tell a little bit more about what we do but we want to make sure that we say thank you to our many volunteers that make the work possible this goes back to 1954 Dwight D Eisenhower yeah he proclaimed it as the National Salvation Army week that's right which is really remarkable yeah how long has the service been around so the Salvation Army's been in place since uh, 1865. Uh, so That's yeah. remarkable. Yeah. So for quite quite some time, doing the same thing, meeting human needs uh, in Christ's name without discrimination. And Shieldy has been with the organization since 1865. Shield, we we don't like to talk about Shieldy's age. A little <laughs> sensitive, but it's always smiling. <laughs> She's always smiling. Yes. That's fantastic. So this is your new campaign. Yes. Um, I fight for good, mm -hmm. and you can too. How do we get involved in this? Yeah. yeah, so this is a campaign that we're running now just to, again, to say thank you, but also to get the word out about that there's still needs at, uh, that are that are present in, with so many of our neighbors here in Connecticut and Rhode Island. So the way to participate uh, is very simple. You can text uh, the word good to 31333. And 31333, just text the word good. Yep, and then you'll have an opportunity to support that way. Oh, that's wonderful. And then also you can find more information on our website, Salvation Army C org and for a donation we'll be happy to send you one of these shirts so that you could share to your friends and those around that you too support the Salvation Army and fight for good. Kara was asking a good question earlier she said where does that money go from the red kettles? Yeah yeah so the Salvation Army the money that's raised in the red kettles one of the things that we really pride ourselves in is that we make sure that as much of that money as possible stays right in the community Which where it's terrific. raised and so if you want to really make a difference you really want to help your neighbor when you see one of of those red kettles, you could put money in there feeling confident that that money is going to stay right there. You know, I know we're so blessed that we live in Connecticut and we think of us as being um, a very wealthy state, but here we still have great need. Yeah. I mean, can you talk about how many people are living with food insecurity yeah. or paycheck to paycheck where they, they could find themselves homeless with just the, a layoff? Yeah. Yeah. And one of the things that we really, it's, it's our mission is that we want to offer hope to those who feel or are living in despair. And uh, while Connecticut is a wealthy state, the number of people that are really struggling has just increased. Mm. And and people that didn't need help before are now finding themselves food insecure, mm. really unsure about how they're going to uh, get groceries, how they're gonna do that next thing. And it's just growing. Uh, mm. In fact, last year alone, we the Salvation Army served in Connecticut one over 1.1 million meals. Wow, wow that's really uh, yeah. here in our state. Just here. So would, so the need is great. Would you mind if I sat next to Shieldy? Absolutely. Okay, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to get up there and go in and move next to Shieldy because yep. I want to feel the love. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Mike. And just in that's, case you didn't get to dot it down, 31333. 31333. Three, three, three. So 31333s. And you text the word good and you can just donate really easily Absolutely. online and, 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 and know that the money is going to help right here in our neighborhood. Look at Shieldy. Shieldy is adorable. <laughs> you know what we need? We need Shieldy to go to the green room and cuddle with the penguins. Cuddle with and the penguins, that's a perfect absolutely. Day. For more information, you go to <laughs> ctri.salvationarmy.org or facebook.com, Salvation Army CTRI. That's Connecticut Rhode Island. Thank you, Michael, so much for being with yeah, us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank and you for good luck. Continue success. Shieldy, thank so you so awesome to have you here. Shieldy, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> Yay!